Good morning, it's come back round to Monday again. It's 25 to 11 and I've been up since about half past eight this morning. I've been quite busy actually. I've been sitting here on my own getting the vlog up for tonight. Marking Izzy's maths that she did yesterday on Sunday for me. I've printed off this week's timetable, which I meant to do yesterday, but I did it this morning. And I put a wash on. And while Izzy's getting on with the rest of her maths, I've got an unusual job to do that I don't normally do, which is that I've been asked to help somebody out with their dissertation by answering a series of questions that they've composed. I've done this a few times in the past. I've done a few for home ed, but in person. I think I've helped somebody out with a blog in the past. I've helped somebody out by being interviewed because they were doing a video thing for their uni about vlogging. What else have I done? A one about music years ago as well, about sense of identity to groups. I helped somebody with their psychology dissertation. <laughs> but now I'm going to sit down at my laptop and get on with that. See how long it takes. I've done it, yay! And it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. Izzy's doing more maths and I'm going to hang the laundry out. I might hang it out outside. In my little patch of yard. There. That's that lot hung out, it's all billowing in the breeze. While well, that's brewing, I'm just having a little look online at our biology course to see where we're at with this today. So I didn't quite get as far as doing a look ahead over the weekend. I know it's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of carrying on really. I've decided we're just gonna move on to a new topic. I don't think she got 100% in the quiz last week, but we'll come back to it in the revision period. We've had enough of responses in plants. We're now doing gas exchange in flowering plants. I'm going to print off the revision sheet ready. This is looking familiar, this is. I remember the bit about the guard cells in the leaves opening and closing to let things in and out. I've done that before. Hmm, strange. My printer just made some horrible grunty grindy noises and now it's gone beep 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 and just stopped. I think I might have killed it. It's done that thing. <laughs> How annoying. Oh well, never mind, it's not the end of the world. Ooh, there's a mini mock in there. Now I'm sure she's got the emotional maturity to handle this perfectly well now. I'm not in the least worried that she's gonna get a stress on. So I'm just sorting out all these uh, science sheets for this week. Uh, well, just the biology bit of it anyway. And she's also brought me down some maths to mark as well. It's 12.30 now. What she wants to do is divert off the timetable a bit. So she wants to have a half hour break now till one, but then combine doing the biology lesson, watching the video with eating lunch at the same time. And I'm quite cool with that. That's fine with me. It's because she wants to get it done quicker and have a bit more free time later, I think. Just trying to put them all in the right order. I was incredibly anal and I print sticked that together. I couldn't bear it. I, I was telling myself, Imogen, that's just pointless. It's aesthetic. You do not need to do that. But I couldn't help myself. <laughs> right, they're not going in the folder yet anyway because I'm just going to leave them out and we're going to use them as loose leaves first and then put them in when we've done. Right, I'm going to mark the maths. More shots of me sitting at my desk marking stuff. This one took a lot longer to mark than usual and it's like five to one now and I haven't started getting lunch on. Whoops! I'm just going to go and chat to Izzy about what's in here because there's a couple of little things that weren't quite exact so I just need to talk to her about that now while it's fresh in my mind. I'm going to reheat some leftovers and just add some pulses to dinner so it shouldn't take too long to get back on track. So this was last night's dinner. Ta-da! But I'm going to bulk it up a bit. Izzy is just eating so much, she's growing like crazy. So I'm going to bulk it up with a tin of chickpeas and a tin of tomatoes. So lots of fibre and protein and iron going in in the chickpeas. Lots of vitamins and more roughage there. Some basil and a stock cube going in. I did also add a tiny bit of turmeric because he's not keen, but apparently it's anti-inflammatory. Though how much anti-inflammatory it's going to do at such a low level, I don't know really. But anyway, it's definitely changed the look and smell of it. I can detect it. 
it is about half past two now. We've done biology. She's having a little bit of a crisis of confidence with it, but I think she's feeling a bit better now. Uh, she feels like it just doesn't go in. She says she's trying so hard to take it in, but just it's as if there's like a wall between her brain and biology related information. Anyway, we're just having a little break and we're going to do English next. I gave her a bit of a funny assignment to do last week. She had her old um, pink Nintendo handheld thingy out last week because uh, she had this Monster High game that she was just trying for like, I don't know, reminiscing sake or something. And I suddenly remembered there's a game on there where you can create songs by typing in lyrics and these little animated characters will sing the song. And I thought, oh. Now Chris Williams commented under one of my videos about maybe making up, what did you call it? Short refrain, if you didn't call it that, a light motif I think you called it, but uh, a jingly riff anyway sort of thing to try and learn spellings. But I thought well, why not try and um, use the Nintendo thing just to see if it works. But we weren't doing it with spellings actually, we were doing it with meanings of vocabulary words for the English literature. So I've given her a list of ones to do that she couldn't produce the meaning of on request when I tested her on them. So she's done two so far. Let's see if she'll show them to the vlog. I don't know if she will. She might be might be sheepish. The composer has been hard at work. Did you enjoy doing that? I did. It was very fun. Was it very time consuming? It was a bit time consuming. How long did it take you to do those? I think five minutes each. Well, that's not too bad. You can get the rest done then today. Yeah, like it takes me a while to type them in. She's lost her stylus apparently. Yes. So I've made one okay. out of an old glove. Let's have the metaphor song then. Okay, Izzy, go for it. Wow. Oh, it's set in the scene. I have learned all about metaphors here on this island made from sea. This is how you use them. A metaphor is a figure of speech. What is that thing called? That device thingy? It's, an, it's a DS. Quite dated now, I think, isn't it? I think it's a DS3. Mm, okay. Right, go and do the other 12 then. <laughs> that should keep you busy. That will keep me busy. Do you know what a metaphor and a simile are now then? Yeah, I do. Do you think that was actually useful for learning I vocabulary? Do because it is very tedious for like typing it in. It okay. It takes a while and makes me think about it. Well, let's see if this approach works. It's a bit of an experiment. Okay, I'll see you later. See you later, bye! I need to do okay, some hoovering. Bye. Will it distract you if I hoover the whole house? If you leave my room out of it, then yeah. Okay, you can do your own room later. Bye! Bye! I've been attacking the hoover. Do you know, there was so much hair, hang on. <laughs> that much hair <laughs> wrapped around the roller, ew. I just wanna wash that hand. <laughs> That wasn't a proper Corona exposure wash, that was just a quick touch the yucky hair wash. I am trying now, I'm making a concerted effort to get Izzy to do more independent tasks. The advantage is I think she engages with it better when she's doing it properly and she doesn't get distracted. But the danger is she gets distracted and I'm not watching her so I don't know how concentrated that study period is and I think it is possible that she'll waste most of the hour by daydreaming and fidgeting around ah, but I need her to get more focused now and be more independent and it will free my time up as well to get on top of things in the house and you know maybe get a job in a month or two when the money starts running out <laughs> put 
that back on charge. The battery went. I'm trying to be more conscientious about getting the hoover around more regularly. Joseph K, somebody whose channel I watch and he watches these videos as well, hello Joseph K, not so long ago did a review of a new vacuum cleaner that he bought. It was one of these robot ones and it just automatically goes around the house every day and he said that he didn't even know he had problems with allergies but since this hoover has been going around doing his whole house every day all his nasal congestion has cleared up and he said he's breathing really easily and like he didn't even know it was a problem before until it wasn't a problem anymore and then he's like wow <laughs> this is brilliant so I'm trying to hoover more and it's difficult to fit it in isn't it when things end up taking longer than you expect in a day and then you realize just like your hoovering time's gone but anyway I'm trying I'm trying it's work in progress what I think I'd like to do now with this 40 minutes while Izzy finishes that job off for me so I'm gonna have a go on the Primrose Kitten website and have a good old rummage around I've never looked at it before in case you're not familiar with Primrose Kitten she's like a teacher tuber I don't know her personally but I've come across a lot of her videos because she tends to do um, like exam board specific syllabus videos like the whole of Edexcel biology paper one video, you know, <laughs> for revision really. But I know she's got a website with resources on and I don't know anything about it. So I've been meaning to do it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So this is the Primrose Kitten YouTube channel. I'm just showing you quickly. She does lessons on all manner of subjects, including maths and science. As you can see, she's got things separated by playlists there look loads but anyway let's have a look at her website which is what i want to have a look at today so it would appear that you can sign up for a, a free revision guide here and workbook full of questions and flashcards and start improving your grades today so she's got a shop which includes things like workbooks that she's made and they're pretty cheap as you can see revision cards, flashcards, 49 pence, but they're downloadable so you print them out. Now for a fee of 18 pounds a year, you can subscribe to this and have unlimited access. Mm -mm -mm. Edexcel we want, don't we? Let's go to Edexcel, oh here we are, biology. In this one here, you can do like a free sample of the multiple choice questions to see if you like it or not. I'll just show you what they look like. Where is amylase produced? Definitely in the salivary glands is one of those, isn't it? I'm gonna go for that one. Yay! But that's just a free one, but there are loads in those. If you pay your £18 a year, apparently you get unlimited access to loads and loads of these. I've also been recommended Seneca Learning, and I just assumed it was a subscription-based one, but I've just had a look now, and it's free. Let's try this then. Students use for free. Hmm, oh, look at all these things here. So biology edxl gcse would be us ah ah this looks a little bit more engaging doesn't it isabel's come to disturb me yes dear oh she's ready she's ready to show me the songs i won't film them because you've seen one already you've got the gist i've done the songs yay did you enjoy that activity i did i've got three left to do because these daft little nintendo tunes were very entertaining so she's just finishing the last two off and then probably have a little break and then we're starting a new history book. The Seneca looks good by the way, got totally distracted there. Yeah, we'll give that a go. Thanks for the suggestion. Look, we're starting a brand new book, aren't we Izzy? Wahoo! Fourth topic of four for the history. Yippee, Izzy's so excited. Can you tell by that expression? I, I liked Elizabeth. Oh, you don't want to move on. Oh, well, this might be the best yet. What is it? I'm presuming it's about people uprising and, you know, confronting the government about the way things are, but we'll find out. No, that doesn't sound like it's old, old history, so I don't think I'll be that interested. It is, look. Okay. Look. You chose this one out of the list. 1170 to the present day. That old nephew, 1170. Yes. Yes. Yeah, go on then. All right, let's give it a go. We've finished history. We've made a timeline. Well, Izzy's made a timeline. I basically photocopied this and she's cut them out and put them in order on a timeline. And we're gonna come back and do some more work on that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>